It is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today on the show, we've got details on a new driver for Rico Abreu Racing. Tim Schaefer has arrived for Florida. The extreme dirt car schedule has changed. We've got results from last night at East Bay and more, so let's jump in. There was a cryptic tweet from Rico Abreu back on Monday in which he announced that he had released himself from his own sprint car team and was seeking opportunities. I waited to talk about this on the show until we had some more clarity on the situation. Yesterday, Rico announced that Jack Huddenshield will be behind the wheel of the Rico Abreu Racing 24 this season for a yet-to-be-announced schedule of races. As part of the release, it was also announced that this will be Jack's final season of sprint car racing. Hod has won hundreds of sprinkler races in his decorated career and currently sits 11th all-time on the World of Outlaws win list with 72. He's won the King's Royal, the Gold Cup, the Mopar Million, and many, many more. According to Speed Sports, Adam Fenwick, Hod plans to make his first start this year in California or Las Vegas with the Outlaws, depending on how the pandemic affects the season. The rest of the schedule isn't yet set, but we should expect to see Jack and Rico at the King's Royal as well. It certainly sucks to see another legend hang up the helmet, but it's super cool that he'll get to race his final season in good equipment and go out on his own terms. As for Rico and where he'll be racing, we don't yet know what that looks like. There are rumors kind of all over the place, uh, but I'd expect we'll probably know more in the next day or two uh, uh, with Rico scheduled to take part in the Wild Wing shoot at Arizona Speedway, which starts on Friday. So not many days left here to figure this out. Another car there have been rumors about is the Hefner Racing number 72, which started out 2020 with Ryan Smith behind the wheel and ended the year with Darren Pittman in the seat. We got a little bit of clarity yesterday with the team announcing they are headed to Florida with the Steel City outlaw Tim Schaefer in the seat to start the season. We haven't seen Schaefer uh, as much lately as his ride situation has kind of changed, his schedule uh, you know, being limited. Uh, he did make 16 outlaw starts and 19 all-star starts in 2020. His best, uh, best outlaw finish was ninth at Volusia to start the year, and he did pick up an all-star win at Attica in September driving for Grove Racing. We don't know what this means for Darren Pittman, who is stepping away from full-time World of Outlaws competition this year. Comments from Pittman and rumors kind of point to him running at least some sprint car races this season, uh, this season and Hefner was kind of the obvious place uh, that a lot of people thought that would happen so we'll keep you posted as we know more about Darren's situation and what's going to happen with Hefner for the rest of the season as the sprint car season approaches we've seen a number of paint schemes unveiled in recent days including the Tony Stewart racing cars debuting this morning Tony's car is black and red and features rush truck centers and advanced auto parts Donnie Schatz's 15 is silver and blue and features car quest and Ford performance you can go find the Tony Stewart racing social media posts for images of the cars uh, in recent days We've also got a look at Brock Zierfoss 3, uh, 3Z and David Gravel's black and orange Houston Speedway scheme on the Todd, uh, Todd Quiring owned Big Game Motorsports 2 car. And you can keep an eye on social media as more of these are released in the coming weeks uh, as we get closer to the season jumping off. The Extreme Dirt Car Series made an adjustment to their 2021 schedule yesterday with the addition of Lakeview Motor Speedway. The Extreme Dirt Car Series is a winter super late model tour that competes around the southeast. The series was originally scheduled to race at Sonoya Raceway in Georgia on February 20th, but a new management group at the track has led to the cancellation of that race. In its place, South Carolina's Lakeview Motor Speedway will now be the host on February 20th. And then the next day on February 21st, the series will head to Cherokee Speedway to take part in the rescheduled frostbite 40 from january the season will end february 27th at modoc raceway to see more information about this series and announcement visit extremedirtcar.com Night one of the East Bay Winter Nationals is complete, and it, uh, at the end, it was 15-year-old Drake Troutman from Pennsylvania who was celebrating a $1,000 UMP modified victory. Troutman slipped past Tyler Nicely near halfway and drove away to the victory. Nicely, Mike Patowski, Shane Burrows, and Jason Hughes rounded out the top five. The night's 48-car modified field also included names like Spencer Hughes, Tyler Clem, Lucas Lee, and Jeff Matthews. The modifieds and street stocks continue through Saturday at East Bay before the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series moves in on Sunday. You can watch these early modified and street stock nights live on Flow Racing. I talked yesterday on the show about adding the USAC Midget Series to the DirtTracker.com analytics section, uh, and yesterday I finished inputting the 2020 schedule of races. There are 28 races to peruse uh, results and all of that, along with the full lineup of stats. Um, that includes who's hot, feature wins, top fives, top tens, average finish, heat race average finish, laps led, feature plus minus, average qualifying position, best average finish per track size, most wins per track size, win count per start position, and wins by qualifying spot. There are also 180 84 driver pages for each competitor that participated in 2020. 
the sprint car series is my next project so stay tuned for those races to start being added in the coming days i'll do a deep dive into some midget stats in the coming days as well there's a lot of interesting numbers there that i'd like to kind of uh, go through and talk about uh, to see the results and stats for these seven different series and 509 races in the database visit dirttracker.com analytics I dropped a new Dirt Tracker Conversations episode yesterday. This one features open wheel racer Clinton Boyles. Boyles is a sprint car and midget competitor and is fresh off a busy few weeks between the Tulsa Shootout and Chili Bowl. We did a deep dive into the Chili Bowl, including his time in the broadcast booth. He managed three cars all week, how Kyle Larson got it done on Saturday night, You know how you deal with the, all of the beating and banging that goes on inside the expo, and a lot more. You can find that episode in this podcast feed or on the Dirt Tracker YouTube channel. If you're looking for other podcasts to check out this week while you're working or riding around, there are plenty of new episodes. Open Red has Parker Price Miller. The Dirt Nerds are recapping the Chili Bowl and answering fan questions. Quick Time has Jamie Ball. Passing Points has Jason McDougal. And there are new episodes of Wednesdays with Wayne and Ford Bite. To see the full list of shows and episodes, check out dirttracker.com slash podcasts. There are, again, two items on the streaming schedule today. Flow Racing has Flow 24-7 and the Winter Nationals from East Bay Raceway Park featuring those UMP Modifieds and Street Stocks. To see that full daily streaming schedule with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Wednesday. You can find Dirt Tracker daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe and leave a review. You can also watch the show every day on YouTube and Facebook. And those likes and subscribes on YouTube are appreciate it as well. Uh, you can email the show at info at dirttracker.com. I do check those every single day. And you can follow Dirt Tracker on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Dirt Tracker. That's D-I-R-T-R-A-C-K-R. -R. You can check out the website for all kinds of cool dirt racing stuff by visiting dirttracker.com. And you can follow me personally on Twitter at Justin underscore Fiedler. I'd like to invite everybody to, if you have questions, comments, suggestions, um, you want to you know, tell me I'm, uh, I'm an idiot or whatever, like feel free to, to comment on social media, comment on the YouTube video, Videos, the Facebook videos, all of those types of things. Um, I love when that kind of conversation gets rolling. So feel free to do that on a daily basis as well. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.